My dad, from the moment he was able to make an inquiry right after liberation from Buchenwald in 1945, he would be constantly sending inquiries after inquiries after inquiries, and the response always came up, we're sorry we can't help you. Memory Project. It's all about making these records available to the public before the people have passed away. We really want to make this research available and people to find out what happened to their family. It's really close. Uh, that's his wife. Brett, yes. His name is from her. Yes. When we came to the museum in uh, 2010 with a purpose to go to the archive and put in our family last name, which is Leitenberg, and hold and behold, a bunch of documents came out of the computer relating to our family and my dad's father who, because of the document, we know he's the only sole survivor beside of my dad. Through the museum archive, we are able to get the first glimpse of an amazing journey that my father's dad did through the war, being liberated, living in a DP camp. The World Memory Project is an incredible vehicle to help engage young people to make it current, make it contemporary. It's not ancient history, it's current history. This was my father, my children's grandfather. The museum play a powerful role with the research in linking the human the survivors, the human story with the paper trail. Continue to preserve the survivors' testimonies through a personal project that the students and the young generation doing to show them what a human spirit can come over. Because the Holocaust is not about learning the historical document, hopefully the younger generation will relate to it to their daily life.